What's happening here? This is in the Second World War in London. And one of the things that happened in London was that there was something called the Blitz. Have you heard of that? Yeah, yeah, some of you have. Uh, it meant that the Germans came and they, bombed, they, oh, they flattened a lot of London. And what people had to do was to go down in the underground. Have you been on the underground? They had to take shelter down in the underground. So it was packed full of people, yeah? So, and this is somebody that's taken shelter down in the underground. Okay. You all right, love? Don't worry. You're safe from those bombs down here. No need to be nervous. Here, have a tot of brandy. I'll keep it from the Christmas puddings. And me nerves. No. Suit yourself. all squashed up on the platform here. It's a wonder we found anywhere to sit. You look tired, me dear. That's right. You pull your tip for down over your eyes. Get some kip. I'll get on with me knitting. Listen to that poor little nipper up there. Poor mite. It's all right, sweetheart. The bogeyman can't get you down here. You'll be all right with your mum and your teddy bear. Oh, bless her. She looks like a little pixie in that universe, don't she? I might make one of those when I've done with this scarf for me grandson. The wall might be a bit odd. Oh, preserve us! Did you hear that? Someone's house is gone for good. Yeah? What if it's yours? Or mine? Oh, my saints! Still, at least we're alive. Pity them poor folks up top. Terrible. And when's it all gonna stop? Night after night after night. My son-in-law says if it weren't for the Russians, we'd all be goose-stepping and talking gobbledygook German by now. Imagine all the young'uns using words us old that ain't never heard of. Writing words what looks like they're all made up. Russians is our friends, he says. They'll never want to drop a huge great bomb on us. Them Americans, Yanks he calls them, they'll have to join the war soon. Only a decent thing to do, he says. Can't see it yourself. When you look at those films and how they live, just like Barbara Stanwyck, all those beautiful dresses and jewels, living in a big flat in one of them tall buildings, poking all over the place. S skyscrapers, that's the word. Why would they want to join the war? Nah, no one will ever bomb the Yanks. Imagine one of them skyscrapers getting blown to smithereens. That'd be the day. Listen to that. Boom, 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 boom all the time. And I've dropped three stitches. Look, that's with me hands shaking. And I've run out of brandy. Shame. I'm mean, it's stuffy and smelly down here. My husband couldn't have stood it. Do you know, he used to have a bath every day. It smelled lovely, he did like a baby. Mind you, he had to, him working down the sewage farm. He was good at his job, mine. Never just went through the motions. He's still over there, God rest his soul. Got killed at a place called Passchendaele. Of course, that was in the last war, the last time we fought this lot. We never thought there'd be another. That Mr. Hitler's mum ought to be ashamed of herself raising a boy like that. I'm glad he ain't my son. I've got a daughter, you know, lives with my son-in-law over in Finchley. Nice young man. He's a clerk at the war office, so he don't have to go away and fight. Still, he works ever such long hours, takes the zoo tube into work. Of course, they miss me grandson terrible. He's been evacuated in Cornwall somewhere on a farm. They get letters, but he don't sound happy. Still better than being stuck down here with his gran, eh? Wonder what he'll be when he's grown up. Something respectable and trustworthy, I should hope. Like a, a 
merchandise. What do you think it looks like on top now then? There won't be an house nor a shop stood standing soon. Then what will happen to us? Us these us these tenders. No doubt the corporation will build us all somewhere new to live. As long as it's not one of them skyscrapers. Imagine me up there like a pigeon in a coop. Nah, I can't see the skyscrapers in the East End. Mr Churchill will get something sorted out. Nice, respectable man. Politicians see someone to look up to and trust. He'll get us through all this. His mum were a yank, you see. That's why they'll help us back bash Mr Hitler. Still, we're safe for now. They won't get to us down here in the underground. No one will ever bomb our lovely underground. Did you get some kick? 